God bless you, loved ones. Welcome to the Word with Chester. Today we'll be starting our study in the fourth chapter of the Gospel of St. Mark. God has blessed us this far to go through three chapters, and uh, each study has been very rich. I want to thank each of you that are logging on, uh, those of you that uh, started with us in this ministry and stayed with us, and also those of you that are just now starting watching this ministry. In case you don't know, what we're doing, we're teaching through the Bible, verse by verse, and chapter by chapter. This is my devotion. Uh, I would be doing this anyway by studying and, and expounding the gospel uh, so that I could hear it myself. But I decided I would share with you the word of the world, my devotion as I study the Bible and give you the insight that God has given me. I want you to know that I love you with the love of the Lord. We're going to start our study today, uh, uh, chapter 4, verse 1. Uh, it reads as this. And he began again to teach by the seaside, and there was gathered unto him a great multitude, so that he entered into a boat and sat on the sea, and the whole multitude was by the sea on the land. Well, uh, just let me share with you just uh, a few minutes. Get this picture. Now, the, the multitude was so large. If Jesus would have stood uh, right uh, there on the land, uh, they would not be able to see him good, and all would not be able to hear him good. So he was by the sea, uh, the seashore there. So he got onto a boat and uh, had those that was in charge of the boat thrust out a little ways from the land. Uh, he was on the boat. The multitude was on the seashore looking toward him, him on the boat, looking toward them, and he began to teach them so that the entire multitude would be able to see him and hear him. He just used the uh, uh, the boat uh, and the seashore for his pulpit. Well, uh, that means I can use the internet for my pulpit. Anywhere you can expound the word and reach souls, it's all right with the Lord. So he uh, uh, used this method uh, so that people would be able to hear him as he expounded unto them. Uh, verse 2 reads, And he taught them many things by parable, and said unto them uh, in his doctrine. Shall we read on? Hearken, behold, there went out a sword of soul. And it, it came to pass, as, as he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and the fowl of the air came and devoured it. And some fell on stony ground, where it had not much earth, and immediately it sprang up, uh, because it had no depth of earth. Uh, but when the sun was up, it was scorched, and because it had no root, it withered away. And some fell among thorns, and, uh, and the thorns grew up, and choked it, and it yielded not fruit. Uh, and another fell on good ground. Uh, another fell on good ground. Think about that. What kind of ground are you? Another fell on good ground and did yield fruit that sprang up and increased and brought forth some thirtyfold, some uh, sixty, and some a hundred. Uh, he said unto them, He that hath an ear, let him hear. Uh, well, uh, you got to understand, Jesus taught them in parables. I did not stop and try to explain uh, uh, every section that uh, uh, Jesus presented. Uh, some fell by the well, wayside, some fell uh, where it did not have much earth, and then uh, some fell in different places, and some fell on good ground. All of these things, I did not try to explain in every detail because Jesus takes the time to explain it himself. Uh, I would rather you hear Jesus' explanation than mine. For the words of Jesus is much more powerful than my words or anyone else's words. Uh, regardless to what we do, we have to put the words of Jesus first and foremost. Uh, he's the one that is explaining this parable. Uh, as we read verse 9 again, and he said unto them, he that hath an ear to hear, let him hear. Well, uh, we all have our ears. We can see them. Uh, uh, and uh, 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 But uh, sometimes you can hear and not hear. Sometimes you can see and not see. And we're going to discover that as Jesus began to break down this parable. As we read verse 10, uh, I'm going to do more reading today because I would rather you hear the words of Jesus and what he has to say about something uh, uh, than, than what I would have to say about it. Uh, verse 10, and when he was alone, uh, uh, they 
that were about him uh, with the twelve asked of him the parable. Get the picture. Well, uh, uh, he the multitude was not there with him. Just uh, 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 a few of the folks, his disciples, were there with him and possibly a few more. Uh, uh, and he asked them, uh, and he said unto him, them in verse 11, uh, unto you it is given to know the mystery uh, of the kingdom of God. The mystery of the kingdom of God. That means uh, everything you see in the kingdom of God is not easy to understand. Uh, it's a mystery, but you got to you got to dig deeper sometime than the surface uh, to get the real mystery of what is actually happening uh, in the kingdom of God. Uh, well, uh, unto you it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God, uh, but unto those who are outside, uh, all these things are done in parables. Uh, in other words, the ones that are outside, uh, they won't understand. Uh, uh, number one, Jesus is taking the time to give them depth uh, and, and give them an understanding of this parable uh, uh, himself. Uh, but it's something about the Spirit of God that's on the inside of you when uh, you are a true believer and, and, and the Holy Spirit Spirit dwells on the inside of you. Uh, it has a way of opening up your understanding to the word of God. Uh, shall we read uh, in verse 12? Uh, and uh, that seeing they may see uh, and, uh, uh, and not perceive. And hearing... Bear with me. Hearing, they, should, they may hear and not understand, uh, lest uh, at any time they should be converted uh, and their sin should be forgiven them. Uh, well, uh, uh, you have to understand some people see, uh, but they really don't perceive. And, and others uh, hear, but they, they really don't hearken to what they hear. Uh, they hear and they don't understand. And Jesus is explaining this to us now. Uh, that's the reason uh, uh, I don't I don't, I don't, I, I, I say that uh, sinners and everybody else ought to go to church. Uh, you ought to go to church whether you have uh, uh, accepted Christ as your personal Savior or not. Uh, don't ask me how many times I went to church in the last six months. It is not your business. Uh, but you should go. Somebody say amen on that. Uh, you should go and, and hear the word of the Lord uh, that, uh, that uh, as you hear it, uh, well, uh, maybe uh, that seed will fall on the right ground and on the right soil uh, uh, at uh, one time or another. It may not happen the first time you go. Uh, it may not happen the second time you go. But as you hear the word of God, one uh, will penetrate after a while. Uh, but let me uh, uh, talk about uh, what Jesus uh, is saying here. Uh, uh, and listen, any time you should be converted uh, and their sin should be forgiven them. Uh, well, uh, until uh, uh, if you stay around the word enough, uh, you will hear it enough and and after a while, you'll start believing what you hear. Uh, well, let's let Jesus explain this parable uh, as we read in uh, verse 13. And he said unto them, Know ye not uh, this parable, uh, and, and how when... Uh, then how then will you know all parables? Uh, well, Jesus is getting ready to explain to them. He asked them a question. Know ye not this parable? He asked them, <coughs> please excuse me. I ask that you pray for me, that uh, God will give me utterance and, and that my throat will completely clear up so I can expound the gospel as I desire. Know ye not this parable? Uh, and how then uh, will ye know all parables? Uh, Jesus asked him if they didn't, uh, 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 do you even know what I'm talking about? Then he began to explain. Uh, the sower uh, soweth the word. The sower soweth the word. I'm saying it slow. The sower soweth the word. Uh, and these are they by the wayside. There uh, where the word is sown. But when they have heard, Satan cometh immediately and taketh away all the word that was, that was sown in their hearts. Oh, y'all gonna have, I'm gonna have to break out my glasses after a while, so y'all stay with me. Don't let me scare you when I do. Uh, uh, the, now, now, let me read verse 15 again. Uh, and these are they by the wayside uh, where the word is sown, uh, but when they have heard, Satan cometh immediately uh, and take up the way the word that was sown uh, in their heart. Uh, well, the one by the wayside, uh, uh, Jesus said, uh, uh, the fowl of the air, he used the fowl of the air. Uh, 
especially in St. Matthew's uh, account of this scripture. Uh, when the seed was sown, the fowl of the air came immediately uh, and devoured the seed. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, so he, uh, Jesus, Jesus styled this as the enemy. Uh, when the seed is thrown, he comes and takes the seed before it could get up under the soil and the seed germinate and, and, and come up and, and uh, grow to its, uh, uh, its uh, uh, where it can bear fruit. Uh, well, Jesus saying, uh, before the, all of this can happen, uh, the, the devil just comes uh, and takes that word away. Uh, well, let's read on. Uh, but when they have heard, uh, Satan cometh immediately uh, and taketh away the word that was sown uh, in their heart. And that's just like the devil. Uh, anything good, he wants to take it away. Uh, let's read verse 16. Uh, and these are they uh, in like manner that was sown on stony ground, uh, who when they uh, have heard the word, immediately received it uh, with gladness. Uh, when they hear it, they receive it with gladness. Uh, they know that the word is true. They know that uh, uh, when uh, when Jesus uh, uh, touches them, they know when the word goes out uh, uh, and they receive it and they're happy about it. Uh, well, uh, let's read on in verse 17. And uh, they have no root in them themselves, uh, and so endure but for a time. Uh, afterwards, when afflictions or persecutions uh, arise for the word's sake, immediately they are offended. Uh, well, uh, you got to understand, I don't care who you are, troubles are going to come in this life. Uh, troubles are going to come into life. Uh, well, you may not agree with me on this, but wherever you are, uh, that's where uh, your troubles are going to come from. Uh, well, uh, if I can be crude for a, min a moment, uh, if you go to the club, uh, after a while, it may not be every time you go, but after a while, in the, in the, in the club, uh, there's going to be some trouble there. Uh, yeah, well, maybe a fight break out, uh, or, or maybe some type of uh, uh, offensive words you will hear. Uh, but why? Because that's where you are, uh, and that's where you'll see trouble. Uh, same thing if you go to church. Uh, that's where you are, so if trouble arises, uh, you will be there to see it. Uh, well, there's some things that even, even come up in the church. Uh, Sometimes you can, you can get your feelings hurt. Uh, uh, somebody will say the wrong thing. Or, or, or uh, something will happen that you don't understand. Uh, those that uh, uh, they don't have much depth, uh, the word comes out. Uh, and they receive the word. And they, they, they're glad about it. And they accept uh, Jesus as their Savior. But when these offenses come, they, 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 uh, they get mad and, and so Sometimes leave uh, everybody, leave the church, and and go an opposite direction. Uh, well, Jesus is just talking about the, the the soil here, and and talking about the seed that is sown. Uh, well, let's read verse seventeen. Um, and uh, and have no root in them themselves, uh, and so endure but for a time. Uh, afterwards, when afflictions or persecution arises for the for the word's sake, uh, immediately they are offended. You better hear the word of the Lord. Uh, verse 18, uh, and these are they that are, are sown among thorns, uh, such as hear the word. They hear the word. Now, this is the thing you got to understand. Uh, they hear the word uh, and the cares of this life uh, and the deceitfulness of riches uh, and uh, the lust of other things uh, entereth in. Um, choke the word, uh, and it becometh unfruitful. Uh, let me let you know something here. Uh, and you can believe me if you want to. Or, uh, uh, it's up to you whether you uh, grasp this or not, or whether you believe what I am saying. Uh, the devil is for real. Uh, don't you get me wrong. Uh, and just because you accept Jesus, that does not mean that all of your temptations turn off and you never have them again. Uh, whatever you enjoyed, whatever you really enjoyed uh, out in the world, uh, when you get saved, uh, you still you still remember everything that you did when you out, were out there in the world. Uh, most of us, uh, we, we may not all have the same weakness or, or the same desires or the same lust, uh, but whatever it is, uh, and believe you me, some of us had different types of 
of lust. Uh, well, most of the time when we talk about lust, we think about uh, the opposite sex and, uh, and desiring to have a uh, sexual relationship with uh, this one or that one. Uh, well, that is lust, but that well, that is not all that lust contains. Uh, you can lust after money. Uh, you can lust after cars. You can lust after houses. You can lust after many things. Uh, now, I want you to know that uh, God knows that we have need of, of everything, all the things that we need, he knows about it. Uh, we need a house to live in, and thank God he's blessed me with one. We need automobiles to drive, and thank God he's blessed me with a couple. Uh, we need uh, 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 all the, the essentials of life. We need clothes on our back, and we need shoes on our feet, and all these things he knows that we need. Uh, but you can grow to lust after these things. Uh, nothing is ever enough. Uh, you get this one, and that one ain't good enough, you want another one. Uh, yeah, this one looks good, but all oh, that was a new model is coming out next year. Uh, I gotta go get myself in debt so I can have that one. Uh, this is in the, uh, in, uh, the end scene now. Uh, go get yourself in debt so uh, you can have whatever's in. Uh, Sometimes you need to dispense yourself because that can be a hinder to you. Uh, that is a loss uh, when you have to have some things that you don't need. All of us have desires, uh, but let me tell you, we don't need everything. Well, I better move on and leave that one alone. Don't you fool yourself. Uh, lust is a real thing, uh, and that can uh, can cause you uh, to not take the word and it become fl uh, fluent in your life uh, because there are other things that, uh, uh, that you desire. And don't fool yourself. Uh, the devil is real, and he's very cunning, uh, and he can get you into a position. Uh, you can have the word of God down in you, uh, but if you're not very careful, uh, and sometimes uh, it can be unjust, just, uh, but let me tell you, uh, I don't care how much of the anointing that you have, uh, how much of the word that you have down in you, uh, if people won't hear you, uh, you are not able to help them. Uh, somebody say amen on that. I know what I'm talking about. Uh, let me tell you something. Uh, oh, I've been there before. Uh, uh, God has anointed me uh, over the years to preach this great gospel. Uh, I've reached many, many people uh, over the years. Uh, and I can prove everything I say. I don't have to lie to nobody. Uh, God has blessed me and anointed me too. Uh, but let me let you know something. Uh, I don't care how great you are. The devil has a temptation for you. Uh, and you have to be prayerful. Uh, because if the devil, uh, even if you don't fall in whatever temptation. Uh, if the devil can make you look like you did. Uh, he can turn the ears uh, of those that you can win. Uh, to, to, to whatever power that you have. Have, and whatever good word that you have, they will not want to hear it. Well, I, I believe I better hurry up and move on. But I'm trying to see you how, show you how uh, the word can go out, the seed can go out, uh, and uh, uh, and uh, uh, not be able to come up to full fruition. Uh, well, let me read on here. Uh, verse 19 reads, and the cares of of this age, uh, and the deceitfulness of riches, uh, and the lust of other things, entereth in, uh, choke the word, uh, and it becometh unfruitful. Uh, let me read verse 20. Uh, and these are they that are sown in good ground, uh, such as hear the word, and receive it, uh, uh, and uh, bring forth fruit, some thirtyfold, some sixty, uh, and some a hundred. Uh, well, let me let you know the word is going out every day. Uh, the word is going out. Uh, it's going out over the te television. Uh, it's going out over the radios. Uh, it's going out over the internet. Uh, I'm preaching it right now. Uh, it's going out on so many mediums, uh, through magazines, uh, through books and things of that nature. Uh, the word is going out. Uh, the seed are being sown. But what kind of ground that it falls on, that is up to you. When you read the word, what kind of ground is it going to fall on? When the word goes out and you hear it, what kind of ground is it going to fall on? Well, you better hear me. I'm doing everything I possibly can to sow the word. I'm sowing right now. I'm sowing. Over the years, I've had folks that I don't know why. They want to compete with me on everything. Uh, that ain't nothing but the spirit of the enemy. Uh, you want to be better than me, this is what I say. If you want to be better than me, go be better than me. Just do it somewhere else. I got seed to sow. Uh, I got to sow the seed uh, of the 
word of God. I don't have time to worry about you trying to nitpick me and see where I'm short. That is not your business anyway. Your job is to sow. If you have good sense, you'll be out there sowing and not trying to devour somebody else's seed. That's the spirit of the enemy that will try to devour the seed that go that goes forth. That's the spirit of the devil that tries to destroy. All we're doing is sowing seed. You and I, Jesus told me, he told you, he told his disciples to go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized, they shall be saved. And he that believeth not, they shall be damned. That's the word of the Lord. It's our job to sow. It's our job to just put the word out. Just throw it out. You don't have to be systematic. It don't have to all be furred up and rolled up. But throw the word out. God will let it fall on the ground that it should fall on. I want you to know my friends. I love you with the love of the Lord. If you need to talk to me, you can write me 3741 Candle Bluff Drive, San Antonio, Texas. <coughs> Please excuse me. Uh, you can also hit me up on my website, uh, www.poemsbychester.com. Uh, you can click into this ministry uh, from my website, www.poemsbychester.com. Uh, remember, I love you, my friends, uh, with the love of the Lord. Uh, God bless you.